An Ottawa woman says she will file a human rights complaint with RBC Bank after a recent transaction, which the longtime client calls a dehumanizing experience. The black woman was having difficulty with her ID at the bank, where she is a longtime customer, when employees called police. Here's CTV's Tyler Fleming. <laughs> you called the police on me? My only reaction at that time was just to cry and feel the injustice. Okay. Which Beratu Berry recorded and posted to social media after a routine trip to her bank of 15 years became an unforgettable and humiliating experience. Absolutely, it was racially motivated. On August 18th, Barry says she went to a RBC bank on Bank Street and after depositing cash to her account through a teller, she also asked to pick up her new credit card, which required identification. I did not have my driver license handy at that time. I had my health card. Barry says she was asked for another piece of ID, provided her passport and was told to wait. Nearly an hour later... To my shop. I was looking around the bank. I saw that manager outside handing my document to uh, three police officers. <laughs> they called the police on me for the first time in my life. Barry says police told her the bank suspected her new unused passport may have been fraudulent and the name did not align with some account information. Your passport had two R's, but in your bank in your bank statement, your, your first name had one R. RBC would not comment on the specifics of the incident, citing privacy reasons. But in a statement says it regrets that our client did not have a positive experience. The matter is being reviewed and that diversity and inclusion guide our actions and behaviors. She had to pretty much, you know, take a walk of shame. This is a typical case of banking while black. Advocacy group The Red Coalition is supporting Barry and will file a human rights complaint against the Royal Bank of Canada. To make sure that we take proper action in order to hold them accountable for the way they treat some of their clients. And I want them to understand that this systemic racism is present and ongoing. Tyler Fleming, CTV News.